couldn't get away from the cigarettes. I had gotten to the point where I was smoking all the time. And I got a small part-time job just to support my cigarette habit. While I had pneumonia, while I was going through the COPD, going through the asthma, using my inhaler, and sitting down smoking the cigars while using my inhaler, you know, and it was just a matter of time before my body gave in. I wound up in the hospital. The paramedics had to come for me. I couldn't breathe. Here I am, 45 years old. This is, this is supposed to happen to somebody older. I don't want to die. It was all very scary. Fortunately, Sharon called the Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line and got the coaching and medications she needed to quit. If I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and I, and I crave a cigarette, because that's the first thing I used to do when I, was, when I got up in the, in the morning, um, I call. I try to call. You know, or I try to fight it. But it's worse fighting it alone than fighting it with somebody on the phone. Because it's helped me. It's always been there for me. No matter what, that's the one thing I can say, is that the quit line has always been there for me. They're a good group of people. And they really, they really work hard. If you're buying cigars, it's $30. If you're buying cigarettes, it's about 65 And with that money, I'm... I'm putting up new paintings on my walls and uh, fixing up my office space and doing all the things that I want to do to take care of me, to make my surroundings more peaceful. <laughs> my cat, oh, he loves it. There's no smoke in the air. He absolutely loves it. I'm changing my life.